When you do docs or you're involved in that world, you just love it. Once you start seeing these movies, it's almost a call to action. Sometimes it's subliminal. Sometimes it's in your face. But it's always there, a call to action. Major funding for this series is provided. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting used to have a producers fund in Washington. They actually invited me to apply. I did, and um, was funded half the amount that I needed. Finally, as the deadline was coming, I got the rest of the money from a series that was being done out of WGBH in Boston called The American Experience, and off we went to do uh, Los Mineros in Arizona, the story of. Mexican American copper miners at the turn of the century. Well, I think Los Mineros uh, um, was one of my first big attempts at utilizing film, utilizing a film score, utilizing a film crew, and, and some of the areas that we were filming were unique and very scary sometimes because uh, we'd be underground. And I don't know this feeling of being underground, filming, you know, we were, oh my God, so many feet where they were uh, uh, excavating uh, copper. And there was a film. And we shot it on 16, which you don't do anymore these days. I picked the subject of Los Mineros, mainly because it had never been told. I like to do movies that have never been told, that, that we can introduce them to an American audience for the first time. Film festivals actually started here in Austin. There was a little one. Uh, South by Southwest uh, that was starting. And so they asked me, hey, you have any films? So I decided, because, you know, Los Mineros was, I thought, a very good movie. And it won first place. And so they gave me a, they gave me a plaque and an armadillo sketched on that plaque. And I hang it proudly uh, because little did I know how big that film festival was gonna become. And it has become huge. Uh, but to be the first person to be honored with the first prize, the first year, that's pretty cool. Great stories are always great stories and people are gonna watch them. And it's like the stories we'd hear from our grandparents or our parents, you know, except it's in a documentary form and documentary is never gonna die. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna keep doing documentaries till I die. I'm never gonna stop. People talk about retiring and this and that. I'm going, what's that about? So it's all those things, you know, and I can't, there's I think very few of us that have devoted their entire life to this form, to documentary filmmaking, nothing else. No teaching, no this, no that, no changing tires for Sears on the side. I mean, <laughs> documentary, all the way, full time.